three, two, one. Push. Oh my God, that's cold. Yeah. Hello. Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, coldest podcast in all the Midwest, presented by Ice Mountain. Ryan, how you feeling, buddy? We had a uh, we had a little Christmas party in February on Friday. Celebrated the holidays a couple months late. You, you know, know, that's okay, though. Well, what we figured was, I think more people should start putting their Christmas party in the middle of January, February, because you're busy with family. December's a very stressful time. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of work that's got to be done by the end of the year, all that other stuff. And there's nothing going on between January and the middle of March. What? Yeah. So why don't we throw a little party in the beginning of February? Kind of breaks up the long winter. You took the words right out of my mouth. I said it's something. I was going to say it's something to look forward to. Yeah, it's the in the dead, dead of winter. Uh, the only February, other, you could say Valentine's Day, but are we really, really looking yeah, but forward a, to that? That's not a party, though. Yeah. I mean, You've it's been a party together for a while. <laughs> Valentine's Day. It's just like it's another. We've been day. doing no gifts for nine years now. Mm-hmm. Hey, no gifts this year. Okay, sounds good. Ta, there's nothing better than no <laughs> gifts. Yeah, it's like I like, think the best gift you can give your spouse is love. Is no gift at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, you could give them love. Yeah, or the you could no, no, no. Giving them the pressure to not have to get you a gift is a gift in itself. Yes. See, what pisses me off though is they always they always come back and get you something. That's why you get a you get a gift as a backup, just in case you wait no, for no, them. No, no, but then no, it no. defeats the purpose. No, of no, yeah. no, you hold, you no, hold on to yeah, it. No, no, no. That is not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stop talking about the precious present. Okay. <laughs> I know time is our greatest gift. Are you saying present or presents? <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys, guys, that's not what I'm talking about, Tyler. That is strings attached. That is not the gift I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when you look each other in the eyes and you both are like, we ain't getting each other fucking anything and I'm sticking to it. And then the day comes, you don't get each other anything. It's the best feeling in the world. Well, what Maybe, happens if you get that you say that and then they get you something? That's that's fake. That's not the best gift in the world. You need to have that connection with them. Maybe I just haven't been making eye contact the last nine <laughs> years. Maybe I gotta start making eye contact. So wait, you guys say no gifts, then she gets you a gift. That means that you're getting you just why do you guys say no gifts then? That's a great question. I'm trying to figure the same thing you out. Because I'm not getting gifts. <laughs> if we say no gifts, I'm not getting one. And then she gets me. It's usually something little. Sit her down know? and say, I'm telling you that the best gift that you can give me is, love. is no <laughs> gift. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make eye contact tonight. I swear. <laughs> I'm Just do it. And then next Wednesday, we'll do a little update. Okay. Wait, is next Wednesday Valentine's Day? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, mm. I think. So we'll be recording Perfect. right around then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just, I mean, does anyone agree with me on that? I've never actually done it. The no gift thing. Like, you've act- like you really? guys say yeah. you're not going to do a gift, and then you guys run out and you both get gifts? It feels like a trap. We've never actually said, like, no, we're not going to do gifts. So Valentine's Day on your calendar is like, fuck, I need to get a gift for this day. It, yeah, but they're never seri- like super like dramatic gifts. Still a gift, though. Yeah. Still takes time out of your hey. day. Yeah. Your old Willie can't be a gift. <laughs> okay. Okay. To some. Yeah, no, I, got my, I gave my wife the gift of a child. Yeah. That should cover just about every <laughs> holiday out there. Wait, no, it's like, it doesn't that, have does to be anything big. Wait a minute. No. It doesn't have to be big. No, it doesn't. But just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just. You guys know, I, you, I've i talked about this a hundred times. I like giving gifts. You do. Yeah, that I suppose true. that is true. The uh, air quotes love languages. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know? I got you guys gifts on Christmas. I know. I hated it because yeah. I didn't get you anything. It sucked. <laughs> Yes. Don't yes. get but me a gift. It's not about me getting anything. I liked what my gift was watching you guys open so your gifts. You need to find another person in this office that likes to get gifts and go give your gift to them. Jared, 
Yeah, I'll take it. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Problem solved, Ryan. Ryan, your gift was great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Miles was the only yeah, one. Yeah, it was great, was like, but I also didn't get you anything, so That's it made fine. me feel even worse. I didn't want anything. Yeah, nothing feels worse than agreeing to no gifts, which you, you honestly, if you get your significant other something after saying no gifts, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> And a terrible person. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, you're digging deeper into yeah, what type of person. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. type of person? What kind of is. trust is in the relationship like that, Tyler? Yeah, hundred percent. I just said we've never said the no gift thing. What are you, are you guys going to look at each other and go? No getting divorced. No, no cheating on each other. And you guys just go get divorced and cheat on each other. Then why are you looking at me? I've already told you several no, I'm just times. Saying it's a slippery slope with the no gifts thing. It's a, it's a sleight of hand <laughs> dagger in the side when you're, hey, look up here. <laughs> Divorce papers. Also, by the yeah, way. Yeah, you could serve them papers for for Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Serve them oh, Divorce geez. papers. Yeah, no gifts. Okay. <laughs> I got a manila envelope as your gift this year. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it's really inconsiderate to say no gifts and then get a gift. I would agree because it makes the other person feel like shit. Yeah, the card of the flowers is just divorce papers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, who are these from? His lawyer. You guys ever given, given flowers on Valentine's Day? That's like the big the big thing to... Yeah, I don't do that anymore. There's been one time where she got me a gift in the morning, and it was still Valentine's Day, <laughs> so I'm like, fuck, I got time. <laughs> So I went to edible arrangements. That's at least considerate to give it to you in the morning. Yeah, I'll give it that. One. Yeah, give them time. Went to edible arrangements. There was like two arrangements left, and neither of them were Valentine's Day themed, and they both costed like seventy to eighty bucks. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I'm also like, yeah, I can reap the benefits off this too. So it put me in a tough situation. I was like in between a rock and a hard place. There, that phrase comes from. <laughs> You know what I don't understand? Uh, like flowers cost seventy bucks as well, and you can't even eat those things. Get Why the, are they so you gotta expensive? Get them at the grocery store. They're way cheaper there. Mm. You can if you go to edible arrangements. Yeah, those are candies, though. That's fruit. That's fruit. Yeah. Yeah. That's they have fruit, cake yeah. pops Which in there too. Grew in the ground, just like a flower. Mm. That's, That's a true. good work. There are people who eat flowers from tree. Yeah. Never mind. So look at those mental gymnastics that I just did. <laughs> yeah. It is the best though on Valentine's Day going to the card section at a grocery store and all the other dudes <laughs> <laughs> standing right there with you. I'm like, thank God yeah. I'm not the only one. You, you walk up, you walk up, guys reading looks at you, and you just do the the no teeth like head nod. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know why you're here, and you know why I'm here. And the and you guys just all agree that mm -hmm. like. You know, you're not going to step on each other's toes. You see another guy get that card. You're like, ah, oh, no, I'm not going to get that one. Yeah. 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 It's like, like a mix of shame and focus. Yeah. Like yeah. In that card aisle. <laughs> it really is. The best is when it's like Valentine's Day evening. Like they're doing it right oh, before yeah. dinner. Uh, yeah. Last year, Been yeah. there, done that. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. That's so wet. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I think you already know by now what that absolutely moist sound was. It was the sound of a delicious ice mountain trickling down my gullet into my belly. And you know where this ice mountain was before it trickled down my gullet? Where? It was in a natural spring in Michigan that formed from a cataclysmic event that happened a long time ago that ended the first ice age. The ice caps melted rapidly, increased the water level on all of Earth by 400 feet in the matter of a thousand or so years. I don't know. <laughs> and created the natural springs of Michigan. And that's 100% where Ice Mountain is derived from. This water's never seen a fancy alkaline balanced. Uh, electrolyte, electrolyte added, uh, 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 all the nerdy stuff. It's never seen a facility <laughs> like that. This thing goes right out of the right out of the ground, right into your mouth. Nature is its facility. Mm -hmm. mm. And everyone knows that about me is I'm all natural. I'm not. I know it looks like it, but I ain't juicing. <laughs> the only thing I'm juicing is an ice mountain. What? If I could juice that natural spring, I would. That's kind of what it's doing. Juicing the ground. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> Ryan, you juice? <laughs> a couple times. I always, wa- I always wash it down with ice mountain, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's good. Um, also, right now they have right now they have the Ice Runs Deep campaign going on where you can nominate your local hockey team in Michigan and uh they can win. Who doesn't want to be hockey team of the week? Free merch too. Free merch. Fresh free free water. Free water, free jerseys. Free jerseys, free water, the whole shebang. The whole Michigan Michigan <laughs> high school ice hockey <laughs> partnership. So I don't know about you guys, but I think after this, no matter how this goes down, I'm going to slurp down a few more ice mountains. Yeah, I think I'm going to nominate my favorite high school in Michigan. Which is? Battle Creek. I think I'm going to nominate Grand Rapids South High School. Okay. I'm going to do Ypsilanti. <laughs> That's in Jamestown. Ypsilanti. That's outside of Jamestown, Jay. Michigan. Uh, home high, of the high school. Upers. Uh <laughs> High school? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we can do the, the UP as well, or if it's just mainland <laughs> <laughs> Michigan or not. You going inner city Detroit? No, I'm school? going to uh, uh, Lake Michigan West. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> we are going to nominate them after this. So go ahead, guys. If you've had too many Bush Mountains like I did this weekend, feels good on a Monday. Or Wednesday as this comes out. <laughs> to slurp down some ice mountains to rehydrate. My lord, that's wet. <laughs> if I gotta confirm no gifts this year, by the way. <laughs> I you gotta make eye contact too. Eye contact, no gifts. Right. Another good one though. If you do say no gifts, you can do this in Christmas, you can do this Valentine's Day, whenever. It's the classic, oh, I ordered it. It's still on the oh, way. That's a good one. And then you're on Amazon picking it. I've done that so many times, though, <laughs> that they don't believe me anymore. Mm. It worked once. Yeah, yeah, expedite the shipping, so that comes in two days. I did tell someone I got them a Christmas present, and I I haven't even ordered I said it's not here yet, and I haven't ordered it yet. <laughs> so, do, do they listen to this somewhere? podcast? They don't listen to this podcast, no. A friend of mine. Safe space. Yep. So, so what's your plan with that? Yeah, you know, I don't really know yet. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. You're really pulling a miles on this situation. I know, honestly. I know. This is not this is not like you, Ryan. Yeah, very disappointed. I haven't yeah. thought about it much, which is probably why I haven't ordered it yet. So yeah, we'll get there. Maybe we'll turn it into a Valentine's Day gift or something. Uh, get him go. an empty box and then tell him that his present is the precious present. <laughs> And then it's just me and you, and we're just spending uh, time together as your gift. Yeah, and they could be a big quality time person. Tell them Porch Pirates got it. Yeah. Forgot to order another That's one. That's actually not a bad idea. Boom. That's Man. actually not a bad idea. Boom. So got what it. I need to do, I got a camera on my front step so I could see him. I need one of you guys to it. run up, I'll do it. snag the package. <laughs> as long as you don't come after me like those kids that ding dong ditched No, you. I won't. But if, just like cover your face up. I'll call the, I'll, I'll put it on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I'll say, hey, why, watch your doorstep. Well, and then they're like, well, why don't you report it to the police? You're going to have to have all things like that. Have your kid do it. You can't report a two year old. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> you were just out for a walk and you saw it. So like I a shiny put pack. a bandana on my kid's face and, yeah. and go up there and get put it. Put a ski mask yeah. on. <laughs> have him run funny. up there, grab the thing, and run away. The kid loves then doorbells. Be like, and then the guy's like, the well, door. why don't you call the cops? He's like, He's, a, he's two. What are you going to do? Put him in little tykes jail? Yeah. What are you, an asshole? Yeah. yeah. Put him in timeout for an hour? You think that's going to solve his yeah. theft problem? Oh, yeah. I'll call his dad and have him put in timeout. <laughs> I'll even provide the wooden ladle for you to spank him. Jeez. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Classic Ryan just taking it just one extra notch. This is a classic spanking device it is just drop my beer uh <laughs> got a little jumpy there talking to ladle <laughs> uh so in other words i think that more couples need to stop giving each other gifts on holidays i'm right there with you 
However, it does boost it does boost the local economy. You're shopping local. Fuck, yeah. damn it. That's good. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but like, let's be real. We're all buying shit online. It yeah. ain't local. Uh, yeah. You can shop local right. online now, though. Yeah, I know, but are you shopping at a local boutique <laughs> for Becca, or are you buying some shit on Amazon? Tell uh, the truth, Tyler. Mostly Amazon. Yeah, yeah exactly. sometimes Etsy, though. Which is local for wherever that community is. Small business, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I know. We Sorry, put guys. an asterisk to it. <laughs> if you're going to buy something from your local economy, then whatever. I think the best place to do your Valentine's shopping is at OUBetcha.com. The worst is that Ryan can't just let me have a good opinion. I know. It came, it came top of mind. You wouldn't and even like, let me say it without jumping in. I know. I apologize. It's okay. I imagine that and it's now you know how I feel when Tyler gets me a gift on Christmas and I don't have one for him. I know. It's the same feeling you're having right now. I'm still employed. Well, yeah, it's also it's, that. it's a season of love too. And I, I didn't show you love there I, by interrupting you. It's true. I think the Valentine's Day was invented for lonely people, honestly. <laughs> Because lonely people yeah. love Valentine's Day. Well, no, they love the idea of making a big deal out of Valentine's Day. Mm. They romanticize it. <laughs> That's 100% true. <laughs> yeah. And then who are the people who go hardest on Valentine's Day? It's the people who have like a recent new boyfriend or girlfriend and this and that because they have been lonely and they've gone through Valentine's Day. Being lonely before, so they're not taking this Valentine's Day for granted. If you've always been in love, like yeah. me and Anne have, <laughs> and this, you know, sparks fly, emotions run high, we don't even need Valentine's Day. Every day is Valentine's Day for me and Anne. It's yeah. like an NFL rookie trying to make the team in their first year. Exactly. Just yeah. relax, Rudy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, what's worse? Friends giving or Galentine's Day? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> Fuck. Because uh, they're both plastered all over the place. I think. Oh. Remember, we're trying to get our female listenership up. I don't. But I, sometimes but the reason why they're listening to us, they know we don't pander. <laughs> so <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to say. So Valentine's Day is what? Just a bunch of single women or is it? Do they just go out before Valentine's Day? Oh, but they could be in a relationship still? I think so. I yeah. think so, yeah. I think that that's more annoying. I would agree. It's it's so The culture of the internet has made it that all of these like like guys and girls, they have to have their like group chats and whatever and feel like they always need to be doing shit like that and forcing them into special occasions you don't need to be doing that yeah Valentine's day is is a stretch because like it's supposed to be for couples thanksgiving you do friends giving because you're there with your family you can't do it with your friends but it's also friends giving is like it's supposed to be getting together with people that you care about mm -hmm. and you're actually closer like ex if you're getting together with your extended family mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving, like you're closer with your friends than you are your extended family. Just by principle, Friendsgiving makes way more sense than Valentine's Day. I would I would agree. That's why I think Valentine's Day sucks. Yeah, and Friendsgiving is more inclusive. Anyone can go to Friendsgiving. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm listening to this whole conversation. I mean, I, I have nothing nothing to disagree with. I, I feel like Meg does had a Valentine's Day before. She seems like a gal who would go to the Tynes. Like yeah, that. yeah. I think it, for it's more of an excuse. Uh, yeah, no, I I think it's more of an excuse just to get people together. It's like this Valentine's Day is now a thing. Why don't so they we'll, just do that regularly? I don't know why you need an occasion for it. That's what I'm saying. No, I know. Yeah, I I, I don't know because it seems because like. The, how we got to, you know back to the whole christmas parties around christmas it's like well do the parties when there's not other parties because then you just have a party pile up yeah and then there's nothing going on the rest of the time right mm -hmm. like don't have 10 parties on july 4th let's spread it throughout this i don't know just seems like we're trying to just do a party pile up. <laughs> well, yeah, you, then you have more shit to look forward to as well. Exactly. I, I get together with my friends because it's Friday. Exactly. Not and then 
when it comes to the holiday, you don't hang out with the people you normally do because it's a holiday. Mm-hmm. You get away from them. Mm-hmm. In other countries, vacation is called on holiday. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm on holiday from? <laughs> <laughs> from my friends that I normally hang out with and I'm hanging out with my extended family. I'm on holiday from going out with the girls and I'm hanging out with with my significant other. Yep. Um, I mean, I, I, speaking of holiday, no, <laughs> not yet, not yet. Because Valentine's Day, if it was only for like the single gals to get together, I think it'd be a different. It, there'd be a different like aura around it. But because the taken girls can also attend, I it just it doesn't have the same meaning that it should. Yeah, it's. I think St. Valentine would be rolling over in his grave knowing that <laughs> Galentine's was going on, you know? But yeah, they even altered his last name, which is yeah, complete disrespect. <laughs> so You guys want to do a Felentine's Day? I was going to nah, say- I not felons. I was trying to work fellas into it. Bro- bro- Brolentine? <laughs> <laughs> Palentine's. Oh, Palentine Day. Yeah, that's pals. I hate that. No, we are, we're not going to do Palestine that. Day. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not, Jared. Uh, Jared, what do you got for us today? Believe it or not, that was not that was our intro. So what yeah. do you got, Jared? Uh, what's something that's normal that makes you feel like a badass? Something that's normal that makes me feel a badass. Here's something that's normal that makes me feel like a badass. <laughs> the audio visual holding a knife like this yes yeah. <laughs> with it pointing down how would you say this Tyler like what is it's a reverse grip holding a knife in reverse grip makes me feel like such more <laughs> of a badass makes me look way more badass than if I'm walking around like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's a really good one actually because a lot, of, a lot of lint because reverse my grip pocket. <laughs> reverse grip is like like i'm ready i'm ready, I'm ready to for fight. combat yeah you know even just Things me are... just like chilling like this makes me look way cooler than yeah it also makes me think like am, like it's so low am i am i safe sitting next to you <laughs> don't rob me versus <laughs> i will find where you live and hunt you down <laughs> until I cut you up into little pieces and bury you. You know, that's way more badass <laughs> <Yeah>. versus <laughs> the little. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, put my Amazon package back on the step, <laughs> Mister. <laughs> you know, you like little or- shit. It just looks like you're ready to throw down. Yeah, I mean, plus it at any moment I could just say something really intense and just stab it into the top of the table. Mm. How am I supposed to do that? That I'm supposed to. Th- Throw it up in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Would be cool if you could pull that off. If you could throw, if you could make it in the ceiling, try first it. Try. Holy no, shit! Oh, this dude. is a terrible no, idea. Don't do that. We'll tr- we'll, we we can, thought about it. We could practice with like a pencil or something. It's gonna hit the floor, bounce back. It's. I wish I had eye protection. <laughs> uh, there's glasses in here somewhere. All right, put it on the ceiling, Jared. I'm gonna try it. There we go. Uh, let's try that. Oh, Jared missed, missed it. it. Uh, the light's in the way. Oh, it. It's stuck. It's stuck perfect. Right, the entire on. blade is in the ceiling. <laughs> oh, That was actually... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. That was good. Oh. Please do not attempt this at home. These stunts on We Bet Your Radio performed by professionals. <laughs> Now, but you didn't have it in combat defense mode. You had it in flippity floppity mode. I know, but hey, boy, get off how my is step. The, you know, how sh- is that protecting me? It, you're right. It's not. Now you're just knifeless. Yeah. <laughs> it's stuck. And now what? <laughs> I got to get wait. a step ladder to get it out of there. <laughs> I'll jump up and you're going to wait all podcasts for that thing. It's going to fall down in the middle of I the know. podcast. And I'm going to go like that because it's going to hit the. V- <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a whole thing. That was way more impressive than Jared's flip cup challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that he was so confident in doing. Jared, that flip cup challenge sucked. Well, there'll be redemption around here somewhere. Yeah. Um, 
so I think I proved my point. You did. Uh, just by simply how you will hold a utensil in your hand determines how badass you feel and look. But if you hold a fork like that, you're weird. You look like you're like a like a rabid homeless person that hasn't eaten mm-hmm. in a week. <laughs> or you're like three. But also, yeah, or you're three. Yep. Now, what if you, I mean, what if you flip it on to, Flip it around into like regular, r- the regular hold, but you you're white knuckling it. I think the white knuckles also show a sense of f- of defense, fear? defense mechanism. I think it's fear. Depends on what face you've got on. White knuckles screams fear. Can anyone else agree? Ah, that's true. That is very true. It's an emotion that you don't want. White knuckling. Either you're furious or you're really scared. I thought you were an MMA I guy. Do it. I am. I, we don't use weapons. <laughs> yeah. Wear gloves. Can't see the knuckles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They actually like, they actually, they're usually red or black. Yeah. They actually check your gloves before you hop into the cage to make sure you don't have a knife in combat mode. But Krav Magov, Krav Magov uses shit like that. Nice. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's I mean, a style that's of style fighting. Of oh, I was going to say that guy sounds like an MMA guy. <laughs> Cro- oh, Mr. Krav? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, that's, so that's a, that's a form of fighting? Yes. Yeah, it's a form of combat. Was it yeah. a guy at some point that started it? Couldn't tell you. Uh, Mr. Magov, yeah. I actually don't. I, I don't know. It's like, uh, I think it's some European style of weapon combat. Krav Magov. Israeli. It's an Israeli martial art. Hmm. So Krav Maga, Israeli martial art developed by Emi 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 Lichtenfeld. Lichtenfeld. Oh yeah, Lich- so Lichtenfeld. Not, Lichtenfeld. Not Mr. Krav. It's not an Olympic sport. You ever Lichtenfeld? In? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Krav Maga course at an Israeli paratrooper school in 1955 is what that photo's from. You guys know that Dave was a paratrooper? <laughs> really? Shut up. We'll talk no. about it on that. <laughs> well, well, he actually was. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next Patreon <laughs> podcast at uh, You Bet Your Radio. Uh, Patreon.com slash You Bet Your Radio. <laughs> found where all Patreon episodes can be found. Um. So, yeah, that's mine. It's all about how you hold a knife. I like that. It works for sure. It's maybe not as effective. But also in that photo, the guy who's getting held up does have his knife in 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 defense mode, and he's getting stopped. See that photo? <laughs> well, clearly. <laughs> do you know how long they had to sit still to get a good photo in 1955? This is clearly staged, Ryan. I mean, don't come at me. <laughs> also, this seg- this segment isn't. This segment isn't. <laughs> What's the best way to hold a <laughs> no, knife to I kill know. someone? It's no, I know, I know. what makes you feel badass. Yes. No, no, I know. I know. <laughs> I, just, I just, I had to point that out. I'm sorry. That was good. Okay. I got one. All right. I got, go I on. was waiting for you guys to jump into the <laughs> knife. Uh, something that makes me feel badass that is just normal is riding on the tailgate of a moving truck. That is badass. You just feel way cooler than you really are. And I think it's uh, got to be similar to how the guys in the back of garbage trucks feel. That, yeah. That would be a sweet game. And they're hanging off, too. That's- and they just, you know, I've never seen anyone that covered in shit look so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, could, you could literally bring my mom on this podcast and go, did Miles want to be a garbage man when he was <laughs> younger? And she'll, and, and she'll go, yes. And the reason why is because he wanted to hang on the best back of the truck. It's even cooler when they can hop off really quick and grab the can, dump it in all one motion. Yeah. Yep. So badass. But to what you're saying, much more realistic scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's because if you think about the psychology of it, you are sitting on the back of a tailgate and you are just sitting there trusting that you're not going to fall off. Mm-hmm. Right. In reality, they could just gun it and you could go ass over tea kettle on the back, but it's badass because you're just chilling while your feet are hanging 
hanging a foot above the ground going 50 miles an hour. There's like a danger element to it, but it's... <laughs> miles an hour? <laughs> through a field. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not holding on. You're probably whittling a stick or something in the back there with your knife in reverse Yeah, I grip. got my knife out. Just in case. <laughs> I'm peeling an apple, actually. <laughs> and then feeding it to myself with the knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> well, actually, we were going 50 through a field. I was eating an apple. I don't know. <laughs> A couple beers. Apple. Um, so, yeah, I yeah. think that that's got to be part of it, right? Well, yeah, because there's really no skill whatsoever that you can feel badass about. You're just sitting there. But it's the it's the danger that could happen at any second that probably won't. Yeah, and, and then if you, like, really want to look cool, you maybe just, like, dangle your feet a little bit as you're going. Not, like, too hard, then you look like a kid on a swing. <laughs> yeah. But if you just kind of do like a little like casual like leg movement, yeah, you just it's just like wow, this guy couldn't be more at ease, chilling on the back of this moving death trap. So, a question for you: What's more badass, sitting on the tailgate with it open, or being one of the guys that's sitting on the side of the box, up top? I'd probably. Uh, I'm a tick tailgate. Yeah, me too. Because it does look cool. You see. You- bunch of guys sitting on the side up there i mean sitting on the 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 top of the truck is like you're trying to like get smuggled in somewhere yeah you know i also feel like guys sitting uh, like above the wheel well are it's more so like you're riding in a parade or something like that yeah Um, Yeah, it could be i mean like queens do that yeah give me a little wave here i don't tailgate legs swinging back and forth is way better okay yeah but it's pretty fucking sweet to be sitting up there. You got your arm up on top of the hood. You're just chilling there up over in the corner of the box. It's pretty cool looking if you can pull it off. It seems to me more safe, though. So that's why I'm scoring with mm. less badass. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Yeah. Uh, something normal that makes me feel badass is when someone can't open something, but then I can immediately open it for them. <laughs> so whether that's a booze bottle, pickle jar, Mayo can't mayo container, <laughs> but doesn't matter. Right, you got to remember, you didn't open that. They loosened it, or like uh, they did loosen it. They loosened or, it, or they didn't open it. Or like we're big into canned goods, so I, I, I mean, I know I've seen, seen it. Your laundry room, yeah. If you guys need some some like canned beans or green anything, beans, I got them for you. Lots. I just of got them. canned Bloody Mary mix. So continue. Um, for some reason, it makes me feel stronger than I actually am. And it's not the loosening up factor of it. I don't believe in loosening up. <laughs> I believe yeah, that know. from... Be- <laughs> we know. You're one of those guys. He's like uh, the classic swoop in at the end of the semester when everyone else did the group project and you come in and you get to press the button to do- change slides in the group project. Yeah, like it, like if I'm sitting on the couch and, and my wife can't get something open and I, I walk into the kitchen, open it up with one twist and then I walk back, fuck. Like... God, that feels good. So it does. It feels I was gonna great. make fun of you, but it does. Um and but- the thing is, is that when Ann's like, oh, I can't open this, can you get it? I have to get it open as fast as possible. Yeah. To prove the point of how strong I am. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember she had like a like a Gatorade bottle and the cap was, I mean, we're talking it was on there for her. I got my <laughs> I got my hands on that and in 0.5 seconds I ripped that thing open almost tore I almost had to have Tommy John in my elbow cause <laughs> hit yeah. it so fast yeah UCL took it, well, took it I even then took the cap and I did like the little thing where you're holding your hand and you spin it like a frisbee or and she was like I kind of need that sometimes I won't, <laughs> sometimes I won't even take it all the way off I'll just like I'll get it past oh, yeah. the breaking yeah. point. Then twist it back on a little bit yep. even. Yep. Be like, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't that bad. You feel way more badass though when it's another guy that can't get it open. Because they'll never ask for your help, but you see your buddy struggling with a jar or something, like, give me that thing and Here, then you that. open it. Yeah. You feel way more cool. I just thought of another thing. Go ahead. Um nothing. A normal thing that makes me feel badass is when you use some sort of leverage slash lever arm to move something. So 
you guys are trying to move with with just sheer manpower, but then you realize if you just take this, you know, two by four and you wedge it here and you just give it a little yank, she starts moving. Nothing feels better than using leverage to move something because everyone's like, God, that was so smart. <laughs> You're a wicked smart. Yeah. Wicked when, smart. Yeah. It's like, do you when, know what I'm talking about? It's yeah. like, yeah, no, I do. When someone when something looks like it requires a ton of strength, but then the idea is badass that like we can just wedge it up with this two by four yes, or whatever and make it that much easier. Even though you made it easier for everyone else, it still makes you look strong as fuck. Yeah, because the the strongest muscle in your body is your brain, and you just fucking flex and it you on just everyone. Flexed it, and you 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 absolutely just mentally Nut. nutted. <laughs> <laughs> it was an accidental. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was yeah. Um, I mean, they say, "God, what the fuck line is it?" I don't remember. What I was gonna say, I was too distracted by the nut. <laughs> um, another like, I, I'm gonna- oh, they say work smarter, not harder. Right? There's nothing more badass than working smarter, not harder. Intelligence, that, the true badassery. Yeah, it's the golden rule. Work smarter, not harder. I don't think that's the golden rule. But it's almost as good do you, as... Do you not know what the golden rule is? The golden rule is treat others the way you want to be treated. Okay. You guys... God. <laughs> My... What's the, plat- what's the platinum rule? Uh, work harder, not smarter. No. Treat others the way they want to be treated. What's the silver one? <laughs> treat others one how you saying. think they should be treated. <laughs> <Don't>. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't treat others at all. You're not doing presents this year. Treat yourself. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's bronze. Treat yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got another one. Mm-hmm. I think it feels really badass when you can get off the escalator <laughs> without breaking pace. <laughs> Say the first part of that again. I think it's really badass. Two. When you get off the L of escalator, I can't say the two words "get" and "off" in any sort of. You could have you could have substituted it. in when you're stepping off of the escalator in rhythm. It would have eliminated. This that is right more there. about you two than me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was a Ryan moment. It actually, mine. it actually never crossed my mind when you said that. Mm. Same. So this is more about Miles than anyone else. <laughs> Don't make me get my knife, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is, yeah, that's pretty badass. It's sweet. Um, so, well, I totally don't even know what you said. What like, was it? You get off the escalator without breaking pace. Oh, yeah. If, you're, if you look <laughs> completely at ease on an escalator mm-hmm. or even one of those flat things, pretty badass. Yeah, even more so on the flat things mm-hmm. at the airport. You just yeah. keep the stride moving on to the next one. Yeah, those things are awesome. It's not that hard to do, but it feels cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, similar. You know, I'm just thinking airport things now. <laughs> Getting onto the tramway and then just like not having to grab onto the pole. You can just balance normal. Yeah, little do they know your toes are literally curled into the ground. <laughs> to butt not... cheeks are clenched. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Core is flex, butt cheeks clenched, and toes are curled. Just being completely at ease in stressful situations also makes you feel like a badass, you know? Yeah, you're like the duck. Calm on the surface, paddling like hell underneath. Yeah. God, Ryan's got to be dick hard about that. That was a Goggins quote. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I I got one that might not be... No, I don't know if it's normal. It's normal for me. But when I get up to a stoplight with uh, and someone's next to me preferably like under the age of 21 and I beat them off the line and then, <laughs> and then, and then switch lanes in front of them. It doesn't matter if I'm going 20 over the speed limit. Normally no one's in front of me. So it's a safe situation, but it's like, you just got beat by a 29 year old off the line. And if you're, if you learn anything in high school, you don't get fucking beat off the line. Again, probably not normal, but normal for me. So, I didn't hear anything you said. I don't know what he said. <laughs> I, you, you beat off a 20 year old? <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> uh, 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 
<laughs> no, I said beat off the line, not the 20 year old dude. Uh, I got one. I, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, no one. I'll kind of do a couple rapid fire. Uh, similar to Ryan's car one. <laughs> Uh, in the winter, when you when your car slips a little drift, but then you like totally handle it with one hand, you know, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. just yeah. do like a with the wheel to you know, uh, like on cars when you steer into the skid, just give it one of those. And you're yeah. back at it. Turn left to go right, and then you look at your. I look at Anne and just go like that. And she's like, "You're a fucking <laughs> douchebag." <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know I was going that way, but yeah, yeah. I mean, she, she's like, "You're." absolute doucher um another one that i don't know if you guys feel this way or not but when i think that i'm in reverse or drive in my car and i press the accelerator and the engine revs (laughs) and everyone around you is like god that guy's badass i have the exact opposite feeling no i know okay (laughs) that is one of the most embarrassing things though you go like this whatever to, to back up and you just press the accelerator it's like and like out, like out of ha- kind of like out of and then like try to, for me to try and stop that i like hit the brake like that's gonna help <laughs> yeah it doesn't do like anything. it's gonna maybe slow it down a little bit it doesn't the worst is like if you're in your driveway and it's got a little slant and you start to roll backwards while you're in neutral and your evans rent engine is revving and then you just look like an absolute idiot because like right away you're like oh i'm moving but you're really not and the worst part is you gotta wait till it revs all the way back down to put it in gear so it's like you have to like set like three four seconds of shame is just like yeah. you're just sitting yeah. there like god or it's the first time you've ever done this you're like 16 years old you slam it in reverse and fucking, oh my god Jesus. tyler oh, jerk it back that was really good acting thank jerk you where felt like i was jerk in that back. car with you. <laughs> yeah. you jerk, jerk it back it. yeah um, I had a buddy in high school, his dad, he, whenever we'd get to a stoplight or a stop sign, um, he would always put his vehicle in neutral because he said it saved gas. That's a lot. This guy sounds like a dickhead. <laughs> I never understood. Did I you have I, a manual? <laughs> no, Maybe. no, it wasn't. <laughs> anyway, again, I'm, hmm. I've been very public about knowing nothing about cars, so I couldn't, couldn't help you with that one. Um, I got one last final one for for you guys. Ooh, let's hear it. This one's maybe uh, one of my favorites. Uh, when I do that, when I do this, I feel like a badass. When I have a, when me and Ann go to, when I'm out to dinner, when I'm you know out at the bar, whatever. I go to when I go to pay my tab at a restaurant. And I get the tab, whatever the the waiter or waitress comes over, I hand it to him and I go, keep the change. <laughs> that is a good one. You ever do that? And what if it was just like you rounded up to the nearest dollar? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you keep the change, like time. literally keep the change. Yeah, like it was like nineteen ninety eight. <laughs> you give it twenty, I like, keep the change. Wow, man! Well, Thank you for that. I did that at the Christmas party. I got a, I ordered a drink, and it ended up being like twelve dollars and fifty cents or some shit. And I gave him fifteen bucks, and I was like, "Keep the change." And then later, I'm like, "That's like a dollar eight is what they ended up getting." I know, but you felt kind of badass. Yeah, that, right? yeah, I did. Anytime you can just say, "Hey, keep the change." <laughs> Ross, can I have my change back? And they come back, you're like, you know what? Keep it. <laughs> no, kid, actually, I want you keep that. No, you keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so, ooh, do you want me to keep it or? Have you ever been with someone that asks the waiter or the bartender if they split tips? No, no, yeah. so uncomfortable. Yeah, meaning like they want their tip to go like straight to somebody. Yeah, like. I don't want that guy to get it. <laughs> Even though that guy didn't know that he helped the other guy get him a couple, you know, it's just right. like, yeah, so uncomfortable. Just, yeah, I don't like that. I, I have one more. I feel like an absolute badass when I get to skip any sort of line. Like if I have mm. like, I can check myself in for the flight and I can skip the line or any sort of instance where I get, to, there's people waiting and I get to go up front. I feel like a what fucking king. What are the instances? Oh, uh, like TSA pre-check would be one. 
Yep. Everyone waiting in line, like um, Se- uh, senior year lunch line. Senior year lunch line, straight yeah. to the front. Get yeah. out of the way, you fucking freshman nerd. Or you have like reservations <laughs> at a restaurant. Yeah, That's restaurant. A a restaurant. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Or it always feels badass, even if you you get there after the person who's already been seated, and there's a big line, and you walk in, and you don't even look at the host. You just yeah, walk, you just walk right, right by them. Da, walk right, da, da, da. Da, da. <laughs> you just walk right by, and they're like, I got, I, oh, and they're like, that guy's cool. <laughs> well, he like just he walked in here like he owned the place. Yeah, yep. Walking in like you own the place because you know they're already seated, and you you don't because it's like you're late. You know, <laughs> yeah. So you got a lot of things going against you. But if you just own being late like that, they're like, God, that guy's sick. <laughs> Or like when we go to events, there'd be people waiting in line, but I had a camera so I could just walk past mm-hmm. the line because I, I was holding a camera. Mm-hmm. They don't check credentials when you have a camera. No. That is similar no, to the don't. guys that got in the Super Bowl holding a ladder. Yeah. It's the same type of effect. So if someone's got a camera, you just, whoa, why? Are you? Uh, and side note, I think it's hilarious when someone's filming and people do the like try and duck underneath yeah. the camera and they don't realize how wide the lens is and so you can just see them walking bent over like a fucking idiot i had a super cut of that when i worked at the news like i had my tripod on main street just getting b-roll and then people doing the weird duck walk underneath yeah. the camera so guys if you're listening and you're about to walk through a camera just walk through it it's way less disruptive <laughs> than trying to do the fucking limbo underneath it. And also, don't just stop there and then look at the camera person. And then back up. Yep. If you've gone halfway, just keep going. It's you're, the same distance that way than it is there. You got to commit. If you can see the lens, you're probably in frame. Yeah, that is true. So that was a little side note. Yep. Um, Jared, you got any? Yeah. Uh, Would you uh, like... Had to fill like windshield wiper fluid in your car. It's just like a very basic, like mechanical just, thing. Just shutting oh. the hood of your car oh, is yeah. badass. Yeah. Shutting, no, shutting the hood of your car and then having a rag there to wipe your hands, even though you <laughs> didn't get anything on them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You actually made your hands dirtier by using a, ba- a dirty rag, yeah. but it makes you feel badass to shut it and, you know, wipe your hands yeah. with it. When you get out of the hood. <laughs> <laughs> out of the hood so I can fucking film my wiper fluid. Yeah, it's a little low. Okay, <laughs> but little do they know that you just spilled the first like three glugs because yeah. you can have the get the stream to hit the hole right. Yeah, because you don't own a funnel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the same thing like jump in someone's car. I remember like first time I had to jump Ann's car. I was like, just you know, like, it's like a feeling of like, yeah, I know how to do this, and I didn't even, have to, <laughs> and I didn't even have to call my dad. <laughs> You're pretty turned on right now, right? Your, your car is a I have. Yeah. Or you are. <laughs> on top of the battery, it literally tells you how to do it. You're going to feel, you probably feel just about how this car is going to feel in three seconds when I whip it on. <laughs> it's the same lines of, it's the same on a, like opening the jar, you know, same vibe. Yeah, do you no, ever, I got you. My go to anyone, you. anytime anyone tells me there's something wrong with their battery, I just throw up the one car term I know and I feel badass. Like, Ah, I think maybe you got a bad alternator. Yeah, there That's you go. One. And then that could be completely wrong, but it sounded cool. Well, for me, if car doesn't start, it's just, it could be a starter issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bad starter. Yeah. Start, starter doesn't sound as cool, though. Yeah. The under's good. There's got to be a fun. different name for the starter. The alternator. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ignition. I, I, yeah, I spark know. plug is a good one. Also, why the fuck did we invent anything that worked this way? In what I'm saying is the steering wheel on some vehicles, they're older ones. You put the key in, you try to turn it, it gets stuck. But then if you wiggle the wheel, then you can turn the key all the way. Really? Have you guys ever had yeah. that happen? My first why is that a thing? I have no idea. Not a truck guy. <laughs> It has to be just like something like lined up. So you're. I know. But why did they never fix that? Like, you think the first time that would happen, the car companies would be like, yeah, there's something wrong with that. We should probably fix it. And <laughs> instead, they're like, no, let's just put out a YouTube video showing everyone just to wiggle the wheel a little bit and then crank it on. Yeah. Well, it's good to know. I, I actually didn't know that. Yeah. If you ever get in a scenario where you can't turn the key, just wiggle the wheel. Yeah, you know? Use, we got to use this as our opportunity to start tagging Ford and, and all of them to just, hey, yeah, 
Let's start figuring out the steering wheel thing. I had a truck where I couldn't get the key out after. So I, then I had figured out that I, that you, happens a lot with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to wiggle the shifter in order to get the key out and not the steering wheel. You also, when you would go to work at night, you'd lock your keys in your truck because you knew how to get it unlocked without the keys. Yeah, that's a different truck, but yes. I would unscrew the antenna and then break in. <laughs> also, in high school, I had a truck that you, I like actually had to use the key to unlock the thing. Kind of missed that like sensation of yeah. putting a key in, turning it, and having something else happen on the opposite. Yeah. Now you just press a button and everything unlocks. Yeah. It's kind of something satisfying. Now we can use our phones. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Unlock that shit. The truck from. I have now, I, I, you know, there's a little button on the lever. Like you can, if the keys are close enough, you can unlock yeah, everything. Just open your car. And I just figured out the other day, if you hit it twice, it unlocks everything. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's unbelievable to me. I don't even take my keys out of my pocket anymore. Yeah. The, the unlock button fell off of my keys. So now I have to do it like manually. Do it oh, I'm so keys. jealous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can, can I unlock your car tonight for you? <laughs> sure. Can I lock you to your car? car? <laughs> Pretty sure it's unlocked right now. <laughs> Did you guys lock your cars at work? I'm not going to say depends whether on I the, or not. Depends on the day. <laughs> I don't. I mean, <laughs> I do, but I know certain people here I'm gonna don't. I'm going to play a prank on your car then. Go ahead. I'm going to take duct tape, and I'm going to duct tape your two door handle, your four door handles together. <laughs> I'm gonna so like do, a, your time. do like a loop around <laughs> both the door handles so he tries to open the side. He can't because it's on the other one. Or, That's or a good, rope actually. or something. How are you yeah. going to do that? Trunk. Huh? How are you going to do that? I climb through the trunk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that. Or climb through the sunroof. You got a sunroof? No, no. I'll make a sunroof. <laughs> <laughs> Need my sawzall. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll fill your whole car with like leaves in the fall. I, I had kids do that to my well, friends in high school. Filled my car with filled with newspapers, balled up newspapers. Ah, fitting. You're going into media. Yeah. Uh, actually, I wasn't until I saw that. I'm like, this is actually a good yeah. read. Yeah, fuck, good uh, article. Uh, Krav Maga. Origin story for Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of getting pissed off about it, he t he steered in steered into the skid. <laughs> he read every single article word for word mm -hmm. in all of those newspapers <laughs> and that's how you become paper boy <laughs> no seriously he, he had a paper route <laughs> paper route route what is it route paper route paper route that's very canadian of you oh yeah good yeah. paper route jared you got any more nope that's it all right i gotta get that knife on the <laughs> ceiling i'll get it for you don't touch my knife. Can you get it? Can you grab it in defense mode already? <laughs> so upside down. <laughs> no, are you? Yeah, maybe. Well, uh, if you hit the ground and someone's hey, coming after you, we're huh? experiment guys now. We'll mm -hmm. have to experiment with it. Just like mom told you to experiment with knives. <laughs> don't run with knives. But she, she I don't run with it in about defense jumping mode. with knives. <laughs> Or throwing them in the ceiling. The yeah. old loophole. I've always wanted to just throw a knife into a wall or a ceiling like that. That was so, felt so good. <laughs> My buddies used to do that in college in their dorm room. And that was, that was so satisfying. It just. And first try too. Straight in. Uh, everyone knows that about me. I always just go straight in right away. <laughs> cool. 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 <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> guys, we're going to take a break. Ryan! Hey! I got a new uh, Red Dot site on my MC2 Mossberg. I know, you bought the last one, too. I know. Are you thinking about getting one still? I want to shoot yours one more time. I'm, I, 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 I think I need a laser and a scope now. <laughs> on, and, on the MC2? <laughs> and, uh, and a floodlight. As well as and a bayonet, thermal maybe. radar. Yeah. You need a bayonet. Bayonet would be absolutely yep. cash. Only if you can reverse grip the bayonet onto yeah. your gun. <laughs> yeah. I got to hold my gun upside down. Yeah. yeah. Instead of on the barrel, it's on the bottom of the use, gun. My Sweet. pinky yeah. is where I use the trigger for. I hold it like this. And you... No, I'm coming. To Iron if I did that, guy. I'd have no grip strength and it would just come flying and hit me in the teeth. <laughs> I'm a big Iron Sights guy. You know what's cool about the Iron Sights on the MC2? 
they glow in the dark. Oh yeah. Mm. So that's kind of sweet. I, I actually didn't know that until I showed you. In the mm, I showed you. I forgot the about. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. I totally forgot about that exchange. <laughs> so I didn't know. Ryan brought me into the bathroom, which I thought was going a different direction. Lights were off, too, because it had to be dark. Yeah. I was like, uh, Ryan, it's been a while since we've done this, buddy. I thought, I thought we decided we were leaving this in the past. And then he whips out his gun. <laughs> wow. And then he tries to beat you off the line. Yeah. And then he and then he had me look at his barrel, you know? I was like, God, this is getting hey. weird. And what, oh, you, look- and what do you know? It glue in the dark. Was it straight? You, no, yeah. you looked down the barrel, not at the barrel. Okay. For those, no, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Well, I mean, you look down the barrel. You could do both ways. I was behind <laughs> yeah. the gun when I looked down the barrel. Yes, that and I correct. could see that the sights glue in the dark, and it was a magical moment between Ryan and yeah. I. Then. I I must have just blacked that out because I thought it was going to be such a strange thing. I was at my house and I was showing Ann my new gun. I whipped out my new p- pistol. I didn't pistol whip her. I just whipped out my new pistol and it happened to be evening time. And I n- remembered that the lights, the, the sights were glow in the dark. And so if you, if you got, if you got a lot of stuff, to be shot at during the nighttime this is a great gun for you. And you can find it at Mossberg.com. Found where all Mossbergs can be found at Mossberg.com. All right, guys. Welcome back. We are here. We are Ryan. How was your break? My break was fantastic. Piss break for me. Really? Yeah. Had to get the Had to feel there. good. Had to feel Ju- good. You have too juices. much of the ice mountain juice that comes out the other end. No, I'm yep. saying. <laughs> Runs right through me. It means I'm hydrated, though. We got a good one on our hands for this segment, though. Um, I'll start it. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that one. We decided we were keeping this segment much cleaner than what we probably would do. <laughs> so we're going to try. We're going to do our best. I already thought of another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, um, no one's keeping us from not. <sighs> We we're down to six percent female listeners, Tyler or Ryan. We gotta we gotta do something to swing it back the other way. Maybe it's not enough potty talk that they're looking for. Oh yeah, they're like God. They really they're, they're really, really dialed it back. I hate I've, this. I've listened to some girl podcasts before. They're pretty raunchy. Oh, so you saying. guys want to crank the raunchiness up Maybe. to hundred? I know Ryan can do that. Yeah, well, no, I went non. Though. I went non potty talk for mine. So it's me as well. But me, yeah. me, me, Trace. Okay. <laughs> Just Spanish for me third. Oh, no hablo. Um, okay. So the segment is what, Jared? Uh, things we do that we pre- pretend we don't. Things we do that we pretend that we aren't doing. Correct. <laughs> it's so hard to say. <laughs> yeah. they, they get it. Things we do that we pretend we don't. <laughs> yeah. And I think uh, the we at the end is like, as a society. Things we yeah. do in do. general, I think yeah. the majority of people do this. So something that we do that we pretend not to do is okay, I I don't know how to say I, I've got it all jumbled. So things that we pretend to say <laughs> to do <laughs> This segment is off to a hot. Start. God damn it's it. Good. I got to go. You want me to start with mine? So, this is something that we pretend to do, but we act like we don't. And that is listening to a song a hundred times in a row. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We all do that. You find a song that you like, you, you get in your car, you play it, you press the back button, you play it again, you press the back button, you play it again. But then. When it comes to being in the car, as soon as a song accidentally comes on again, even if everyone likes it, you're like, turn that shit off. (laughs) We already listened to that. (laughs) We can't listen to that twice in a row. Yeah. It's only a select amount of songs that really hit you like a song like that does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it may not be 100 for me, but I will listen to it. I'll listen to it back to back to back to back. 50, 60, however many times it takes for he's, me to get sick of it. He's doing the yeah. segment on us, though. He's acting like he doesn't listen to a hundred <laughs> times, even though I know he does. <laughs> you are the one guy in this room that's more intense than anyone, so I know that you listen to it 200 times. 
So you're literally doing the segment right now to try and act cool <laughs> that you don't. It's very meta. This is meta. <laughs> and I'm right, aren't I? I like that you're selling the bit. You ever listen to a song so you're right. often? I know. That like once you move on to a new song and then you randomly hear oh, it's trash. that old song again. And it finishes. You you expect to hear the song that was after it on your playlist yes. every time. Yeah, yep. yeah. Mm-hmm. Spotify's going a little bit where they. I listen to the on repeat a lot, mm. and so there's the same few songs once in a while. A different one sneaks into yeah. the top ten or whatever. Yeah, and then you're you're expecting the next song because you've listened to it so many times. Yep, and it's something else that really uh really chaps my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's irritating. Definitely. Yeah. A lot of chafing going on <laughs> comes to that. That's like, that's the only way I really listen to music, to be honest. <laughs> I do it. And he's trying to play it cool. You're like, the- it, like, like, I've been on a big Zach, I've been on a big Zach Bryan kick lately. And you know, when you, you click into his profile on Spotify, and it's like the top five songs. I've listened to those five songs 200 times. So in total, about a thousand times I've listened, like two hundred times per song times five, thousand songs in your pocket, (laughs) in my pocket, (laughs) iPod, (laughs) not a sponsor. (laughs) Yeah, and sometimes I don't even have AirPods. Sometimes I just put it on my phone when I'm at home and put it on the kitchen counter when I'm like doing dishes and shit. I do that with podcasts. I do have an Alexis. I do have an Alexis on my deal. And Alexa, Alexa. Yeah. no, I try and call her Alexis to see if she'll listen to me, but she doesn't. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's just it'd be like, a, it'd be like, a, hey, Travis. <laughs> well, no, Travis. no, 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 no. <laughs> Travis, <laughs> you're like, my name's fucking Jared. That's like that one joke no. I had. The I had a teacher uh, every year on like the poetry thing where the whole everyone would go and like recite poetry in front of the school or like people get selected for it and have one teacher that would do this whole thing where he'd run back and forth on the stage i think i told this on this podcast or something I don't, i've never heard and he told go, me he'd go hey steve and the whole thing and he'd run back and forth and he'd be like what and then by the end it was my name's not steve <laughs> same thing, but I'll, thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll even say alexus so like the uh is still there she she picks out the yeah she she picks it out she it's almost that. like she has robotic precision yeah. on what to answer to and not <laughs> yeah and as if some twenty nine year old fucking male from the Midwest can fool <laughs> so, so hold on Ryan is completely at war with all of his electronics he's trying to hey, microwave his hand he's trying to dupe Alexa I'm what trying- are you doing next you. you- he, he, he tried to take a bath in the in the wa- in the washer. <laughs> no, he's at war with his dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. He's, it's trying to run away. <laughs> yeah, that fucker is coming out of the wall now, and I can't. Mm, you forget that Ryan is super aggressive with his Alexa. So remember? why don't you just stick something underneath the front of your thing so it doesn't fall out? No, dude, it's the top of the dishwasher falls out. the The bottom <laughs> stays in, but the top falls out, and then I have to click it back in. The top what? Of the dishwasher. No, I know, but like, what do you mean the top? So like the bottom stays put and the top like teeters out. Like the top panel of the whole thing? No, just the t- the whole like, the whole dishwasher falls from the top. Yeah, so he's saying if you put a wedge in underneath, underneath it the can't front, fall forward. Then it leans back oh, a little bit. Yeah, it won't fall oh, f- I gotcha. I, now I'm following. I haven't looked into it super heavily yet i'm just i just keep clicking it in and then i'm like that's a future me problem okay i can so, respect that i'm not so sick of it yet but i will be eventually oh, yeah. surround sound he's at war with that <laughs> yeah. well, i'm trying to see if i can manipulate technology he's gonna be the most insufferable 80 year old someday <laughs> no dude i'm i'm up with all the times Imagine when everyone's got their own personal like robot that's like their butler at their house because that'll happen at some point. Well, I have a personal sparring and, partner. Yeah, Ryan's gonna be yeah. like trying to jump out and stab it from behind. <laughs> gotcha, Johnny. <laughs> Ryan or Ryan jumps out and he's got the knife up in his hand, <laughs> and the robot's like, "I would not hold a knife like that. Way less badass. <laughs> I can see every move coming." <laughs> I have eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm up with all the times. You guys know that. I know you got a lot of clocks and stuff, <laughs> but 
when it comes to technology. Well, yeah, I mean, if I you even, are not up with the times. I can't even see the time ticking down in my microwave. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Future me problem, though. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We can't see the time right now. But but also the oven's right underneath of it, so I just look at that. So the problem with my oven is it's got uh, the time on the top, the top face of it. So in order to see the time on the oven, I have to literally be walking or standing right over it to see down at it. That's inconvenient. I know. I don't even set That's the in time convection. on that anymore. <laughs> I think right now it's 6.30 p.m. here. On my thing, it's, you know, 4.20 Hey. I am. <laughs> it's weird you keep coming back to that number. I, 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 you know, it's just uh, one of those common times that yeah. whenever you look at your phone, it's like, wow, it's it's time. Four twenty somewhere, right? <laughs> uh, time to bake. Uh, I got a, I got a good one. Cookies are done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> things we do that we pretend we don't. When you open up a birthday card or a holiday card. You immediately try and disregard that there's cash in there and pretend like you're like you're 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 actively reading the card without in your mind counting how much cash yeah. is actually in there. You have literally a point one second to get a glimpse of when you're opening it before it drops down yeah. into your lap. Yep. You better get a quick count in your head because <laughs> it's opening gone. You already have to know what you saw. Yeah. And nothing makes your heart drop faster than when you open it up and you see Abraham Lincoln in there. Yeah. You're like fucking cheap aunt yep. again. Uh, my dad's girlfriend brought her kids to Christmas for like, I think the second time this year. My dad just gets all of her kids money for Christmas. And the one kid opens it up. Pulls out the cash. He's like, fuck yeah, 100 bucks. Thanks. <laughs> Didn't even attempt to read the card. Just pulls the money out and is like, I kind of respect yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, well, I don't acknowledge the cash until like maybe yeah. five seconds after I'm done reading it. And like maybe a thank you in between. Yeah, Whoa. he just immediately was like, look, it, there's money in this, guys. So do you think the card would get read more if you actually put the money front and center on the front? Because if you open it, and you look at the money, you can at least, like, I opened it and I read it. But if you taped it to the front, they pull the money off. They still have to open up the card. Mm. They already know how much money it is, and they might actually read the contents of the card. That's not a bad idea, actually. I think. Like a little tiny, like, like slip on the front that you could, like, you know where you put your credit card on, uh, in, like, the leather books they give you at restaurants? Mm -hmm. One of those on the front of the card where you can just slide the money. Yeah, they you know, do that in cards for gift cards. Why don't they do that for money, too? Exactly. I just Thank thought you. of a great prank. So you got to be willing to sacrifice some money for this. You're going to take a $100 bill and you're going to clip about one inch off the top. Then you're going to tape it to the inside of the card, oh, yeah. just sticking up just a little bit. <laughs> so when they get it, they're going to see the top of that bill and they're going to open it up. It's gonna be like, That's a great It's going to be like five bucks in yeah. there. Because like, doesn't the 100 have like a, like a line all the way straight through it? Oh, I don't know. No, I'll call you there. I, I don't carry cash, so actually, oh no, my wallet's downstairs. Um, no, but you just like so you could see the one hundred yeah, on the top. Yeah. That would actually be funny, or or just do that. I I just invented a new business. You just make a part because it's not illegal to make part of a counterfeit bill, right? I mean, you can make counterfeit bills as long as there's don't a disclaimer them. on it. I'm yeah. going to make a card company that has a fake $100 bill sticking out the top. And then they open it up and the real money's in there. And it's five bucks. That's actually a great prank. I'm going to, I'm starting that card company. Because <laughs> any kid who knows what a 100 looks like <laughs> sees that and they're shitting their pants. They're like, I'm buying NBA 2K. And, I'm and, buying Madden. Yep. And the name of the car company is going to be Benjamin Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. We can, yeah, we'll I'm Benjamin Brooklyn, dude. I, I got to <laughs> go, get, go get a Benjamin. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, we'll find it along the way. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. get there. You don't like that? You don't think that's good? Broke land or broke Lynn? And it's a play on Benjamin Franklin. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that. I didn't know. 
<laughs> I'm thinking about my dishwasher right now, and I can fix that fucker, okay? We can't make our new brand name to the lowest common denominator, okay? Let's <laughs> pretend. We, let's give people some credit. So, yeah, it, yeah, I get it now. And if I understand it, everyone will understand it. Yeah, it's a great name. Benjamin Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Fakelin. Fake hundred. No, that's we'll bad. find it. We'll find her along the way. No, it's good though. Stella, what about you? What do you got? I got one. Um, I don't know if it's accurate anymore after the last segment. What segment? What Ryan said. But I, I thought we all pretend like we're racing somebody, or we all race people when we're driving. Like Ryan's trying to beat people off the line, but then we <laughs> pretend like we're not. You know, but a, Ryan's not pretending. He's just telling us he is. So yeah, because if I it could beat, be wrong. If I beat him off at the line. <laughs> Then, and as long as I get ahead of them, I already won. So then I can slow back down to speed limit. They can pass me in the head. Well, like I do that too. And I agree with you that, that I do feel badass, but I pretend like that's not what I'm doing. Like back as in the passenger seat, she might give me a weird look because I took off so fast from the light, but yeah. I pretend like, oh yeah, it's no big deal. But really I'm racing the fucking guy next to me. Yeah. If I got beat off the line by a fucking Chevy Colorado, I'd be pissed. Yeah, well, it happens a lot because I'm super fucking fast off the line. You got flat line. tire, though. You got that thing filled. No, it's actually more uh, more surface area on the ground. means I'm, I take off faster. More grip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is true or not, but I think if you're going to race someone, sneak your truck into four-wheel drive and you won't burn out right after the yeah. shoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cool and all the burnout, but it's way cooler to, to beat win. off the line. Yeah, yeah. to win. Um, I'm, always at, I'm always racing time. <laughs> So I have an idea of how long it takes to get somewhere, and mm -hmm. I'm just trying to beat that. I mean, the same thing is with the GPS, you know? Yeah. You're trying to beat the ETA. Yeah. Fuck the ETA. Yeah. Wait, it's never seen a driver like me, you know? <laughs> Problem this, is, this thing is to the lowest common denom denominator. I'm fucking Vin Diesel behind the wheel. The problem with the ETA is it also changes this, how fast you're going. Yeah, you actually can never beat the ETA. You no, have, you, you have to remember a, your initial ETA. Yeah, yes. you gotta. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need receipts. I take a photo every time, make sure. <laughs> but uh, speaking of Vin Diesel, Jared, I, I wanted to congratulate you on winning best dad <laughs> yep, thank you. at the uh, Christmas party. That was potentially one of the biggest curveballs I've ever <laughs> that was. in my life. It was that was that was really good. So I gave out an award at the Christmas party and I set it up to make it sound like it was going to be Ryan because he's now got his kid in swimming lessons. It's a great connection. Oh, it was yeah. really yeah. good. You know, he's he's embodies what I think it means to be a great dad and uh, he's always there for him and you know it's been kind of cute to see him <laughs> going through swimming lessons with, <laughs> with his kid Jared dude that was really good <laughs> I'll give you that were you disappointed a little no no because yeah, I, I, right. it was more funny than anything yeah because if it would have been me it would have just been like generic like oh thanks yeah appreciate but it. that's the last time I'm going to bring up Finn Diesel okay Jared okay cool it on the Finn Diesel talk you're constantly <laughs> bringing him up <laughs> I apologize. Jared, you, you got a good one? Um, It's not great. I couldn't really think <laughs> of one. Hell yeah. But I feel like everyone pretends like they're eating healthy when they're really not. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, Like fucking rice cakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm currently... I'm currently at war with rice cakes. Do you know how many carbohydrates are in rice cakes? How many? It's so much more than if you just had like something shittier, shittier. It's just a bunch of rice it's full of carbohydrates. It's not that healthy. You need to get carbs from somewhere, though, don't you? You don't. But if, unless you're training like an Olympic athlete, you don't need that many carbs. Not Anyways, I'm actually a scientist, but <laughs> well, yeah, we know you got the books to prove it. <laughs> um, yeah, eating healthy, I think, is one. It's a good one. Um, I think people pretend I think people pretend to care about other people's kids and stuff, but actually don't give a shit. You know, like, oh Ryan, how was uh fucking <laughs> swimming lessons this weekend? No shit. He dunked him under, huh? Cool, cool. <laughs> Well, like when, when like let's just say Tyler's kids in wrestling, like I'll be I'll genuinely be curious as like how he does at a wrestling tournament. Yeah, I mean yeah. yeah. But when they're like, you know, and we were swinging his little clubs in the backyard and uh, 
you were this close to shattering a window. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> it would have been a better story if you would have shattered the window, actually. <laughs> no one tells you these stories because we all know this. <laughs> so I'm alone on this. this yeah. Is, uh, fuck. I know goddamn well you don't care, so I don't bring it up. <laughs> I will bring up like a significant event. I wish event. I did care, though. You you can care if you really want I to. do care, but I mostly care uh, about when are they going to come fold shirts in the warehouse. <laughs> Probably when can I get them and pay them the child rate? <laughs> the child rate. <laughs> like me and, me and my little guy, we pray for you every night. He's he's literally That's because right now if I die you're out of a job. That's why. <laughs> he's literally praying. He prays for you every night. Holy shit. That's made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't tell me that shit. Even if it's true, I'm sweating. I hated that. <laughs> Uh, we'll start praying for you too. Stop! No. Yeah, do it. Stop! Being I'll video nice. it tonight. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we'll send it. Yeah. 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 Because <laughs> then you have to care about him. This little guy's praying for me. He's only six and a half months. Yeah. Miles, I don't pray for you, so you're good. Vin Thank Diesel God. does, though. <laughs> yeah. That is a weight God. lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> Poseidon. Yeah, Poseidon. Vin Diesel will pray to Poseidon for you. <laughs> <laughs> Neptune. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I got one more. Me too. We all pretend. No, to, to clear that up, though. <laughs> <laughs> to clear it up. It's like I care about bigger things in your kids' lives. I just don't care about that he successfully completed the choo-choo train into his mouth. with. <laughs> yeah, that he loves macaroni. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Yeah. Like we all love macaroni. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. You know? Oh, he doesn't like broccoli. That's new. <laughs> you know. But if your kid jumps off the deck, breaks his arm, I want to know about that. Yeah, that's cool shit. Yeah. That happened. Yeah, you jumped care. off the table. Yeah, you I know? did care about that. Mm -hmm. And then I said, what was mom and dad doing while this is <laughs> Dad wasn't home, mom's fault. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. a dick. Your son broke his arm today. Mm -hmm. Classic. Not my son. All right, go uh, ahead, Tyler. I just had a PSA there. Um, I have another one. It's it's kind of a flip flop, but we all pretend Ooh. to wash our hands, but we really just run some water over it, then dry it off and walk out of the bathroom. Yeah, if oh, I mean number two, wash them, wash them every mm -hmm. time. Number one, what time of day is it? Mm -hmm. What have I been up to today? Kind of determines. I'm only washing my hands after number one if I get some piss on them. <laughs> That's it. Otherwise, I'm how are you getting piss on your hands? I don't know. You never know. Every once in a while, things happen. Every once in a while, it just goes like cups and just <laughs> a little thirsty. <laughs> it's sterile. Yeah, it's sterile. You never Patches got just like, a hula hand. <laughs> you never got like a drop on your hand shaking it off or anything. Yeah, you just wipe it on your pants. No, you. That's when you wash your hands. You know, shaking it once not is dirt. fine. Mm -hmm. Shaking it twice, that's okay. But if you shake it three, three times, times, you're just playing with yourself. <laughs> Fool me once. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like your piss is dirty though. Yeah, well, your piss is sterile. It's sterile. No, I, I like mean, if taste. I got piss on uh, my hands, I'm washing my me hands. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go shake <laughs> shake the hand of the guy next to the guy outside the door. <laughs> nice watch your words. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm like, okay, if I'm taking, a I'm gonna pit, start doing that. If I'm doing battle shits some next to someone in a stall, <laughs> you can see their feet underneath it. You just knock on the thing, go, "Hey, nice watch." <laughs> <laughs> see what, you know. guys, guys, above the waist. <laughs> sorry, we sorry. collapsed. We collapsed. That's you much. relapsed, not no, us. I, so I just watches. said washing hands. You brought up number two. I know, but I kept it PG instead of saying big poop. That's <laughs> true. You did. <laughs> um, no, I mean, washing hands for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't need to wash my hands if I just am in an out lickety split. Yeah. So no, if I'm like at the bar or something and I'm like trying to get back into the middle of the party, I am forcing that out as quick as I can. <laughs> and I am racing out that yeah, door you, to get you back. actually kind of pull it apart a little bit. So just <laughs> bigger holes. Oh, bigger flow, yeah. Bigger flow. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Could you hey, all that? I'm trying to do is beat the ETA. My ETA back to the group it might be two minutes, but I'm going to do it in a minute 30. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to skip washing my hands. I like that. 
I'm going to high five the guy when I get back. <laughs> uh, I got another one. Mm-hmm. So when you're at the grocery store and you're walking down the aisle and someone's looking at the exact product that you want, they're like right in front of it. That happened. That literally happened to me <laughs> yesterday. When you went to the grocery store, not the grocery store. I was at fleet farm getting some mm. stain. Okay. And I some stain for some wood that I need to stain. So, so how can staining be a verb and a noun? Blows my mind. Anyways, continue on. So did you pretend to look at something else? While well, it happened that the other person needed to go where I was. And then, so I'll tell you the exact, we we're getting okay. a piece of wood that is to be stained by stain. <laughs> Very confusing, the verb noun thing. But Anna and I were looking at this piece of wood. And then this guy, you got the whole aisle to yourself. So I'm just fucking chilling, right? Like I got a lawn chair. It's like debating on what, you know, it's three quarter, five ace. What are we going yeah. with? Yeah. All that. I'm explaining to her how wood was, how wood got started. How wood you got know? chucked. I just, I got all the time in the world. Yeah. <laughs> we even dabbled into chucking wood. <laughs> nice. And the worker walked by and his name was Chuck. It was ironic. <laughs> and so I'm chilling, chilling, chilling. Then a guy comes down our aisle with a rickety ass cart, which made it even worse. Just heightened all the tension. <laughs> and you can tell when someone needs a spot because they hang back and they don't they don't really look, you know, like you can tell when they're frowning, right? They're yeah, really yeah. looking for something. No frown on this guy's face. So I, that tells me he's waiting in line. And this is a big four by eight sheet of wood that I'm trying to get. Big wood. And but I don't want the top one because you never get the top no. one on anything. You want to go the second one because why is it on top? Yeah. Guy mm-hmm. might have pissed not washed his hands beforehand and well, touched it. Well, he probably touched it or it was damaged. They put it back, yep. you know. So I always grab the second piece of wood underneath it. But, you know, I got some birch. So it was a little heavier than, you know, maybe just That's good stuff. regular plywood. So and supposed to be lifting up the, the top piece. But then I was supposed to pull the four by eight sheet out underneath it. And she's not pushing on that hard enough. So the top keeps coming with it. So I'm having to do both. <laughs> she's just standing there and I'm getting heated. And I'm like, gotta push the thing. What is this guy waiting for us? And the whole thing <laughs> escalates to the point where we finally get it out and we go to set it up on the thing. And she didn't understand where I wanted to go. Boom, boom, boom. We ended up just dropping the piece of wood and had to put it back on top. <laughs> God. Meanwhile, this guy's. Meanwhile, that guy just watched it happen. He's like, well, I'm not taking the top piece of wood. I'm going to take the second one. So you should have stayed back and helped him hold the top piece yeah. while he pulled the second so one out. He, he pulled out. He's like, all right, I'm going to need some help. These guys, I need to get, the, I now need to get the third one down. Yeah. Because I saw him not take the top one, then take the second one and put that one back on top. The whole thing. Oof. I'm you, yeah, and it yeah. all heightened and it all got out of hand. And the reason why we dropped it is that there was that extra pressure. Someone's standing there <laughs> waiting, and then it happened again at the stain. Yeah, and the second you walked out of that aisle, you know, he's like, Look at those idiots, he just started <laughs> making fun of you behind your back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm usually picking up something and like reading the nu- nutritional facts, or even though I don't care, I'm just gonna pretend like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, if you're the one waiting, yeah, if I'm the one waiting, I don't want to, I don't want to make. Someone feel uncomfortable like that guy made you feel. Yeah, I'm sure that guy was checking out paneling and he has no intent. <laughs> no, of God, no. Buying no, any paneling. Yeah. So, yeah. Long story short, don't bring your fiance to the hardware store. <laughs> it's a disaster. It's the only time Ann and I ever get into a little bit of a spat. <laughs> At the store? Anytime we're doing physical labor together because she's never had to move stuff or something. I don't know if she just has like a mind power where she can just lift stuff and move it, you know, like couches and stuff. <laughs> she's got to keep a- it hidden. So she's super out of water when she does it with you. I don't know. But every time we like, all right, we're going to pick this up, and move it over there. She just like, her brain goes numb. And then she just like grabs the wrong part and starts tipping it the wrong way. <laughs> and like, I'm like, all right, swing it around. And she swings it the other way. Just we're that's we're so out of sync when it comes to moving things or doing physical labor. Yeah, she's not up to date on the lingo. And and I realized because her dad, you know, was a good dad, so so he never like he never like was like 
grab the shovel and get over here. You know, like my dad was. My dad was like, let's yeah. go. We're going to shovel this. Like, you know. You... So she didn't get yelled at and it shows? Yes. Exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, okay. I mean, that's great. You know, you didn't get yelled at. But also, this is kind of a kick to the nuts for me right now because <laughs> I'm barking orders and you're not picking up what I'm putting down. Quite literally. literally I had yeah. to put it down <laughs> because you don't know what we're doing. And so now we just have decided most of the time uh, she doesn't help me with projects and we kind of do manual labor and things apart from each other. So is there anything else you want to unpack there? Do you feel better? (laughs) A little bit. Good. What about you guys? Do you want support or do you want solutions? I think I mostly want support. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm with you though. You don't need I'm that. I'm waiting to, for your support. I don't, you don't need that type of negative energy. Just fucking go. Maybe she's sabotaging on purpose. Like I she's, think she's, it's like my brother growing up would do things shittily. He mowed the lawn shittily. So I had to do it every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what I'm thinking. Weaponized incompetence. Yeah. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah. I'm a victim. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> uh, that's good. Got anything else? I don't know. Nope. That was kind of a long monologue for me. Got me a little fired I'm just, up. I'm glad you got that though. off yeah. your chest. I had to feel felt good. Yeah. I'm sure that shelf looks real good though. Worth it. It was a bench. So <laughs> same difference. Floating bench. It's gonna end up a shelf. Time I know out. you pretty well. <laughs> Time out. Are benches just shelves that are on the floor? Shelves for your butt. For humans. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're just like elves. Yeah, elf on a shelf. I was that's yeah. literally what I was thinking. Human about. on a bench is the same game. <laughs> I can't wait to share my elf on the shelves with you <laughs> <laughs> when my kid gets big enough to understand. <laughs> Dude, last night, here's what I did. I He's made dangling it. over the toilet seat. I made it look like you made a PB and J. Silly elf. <laughs> that's what I, I ate the PB and J. Oh God, I'm such a bad dad. <laughs> wanna, if Anne ever makes me do that shit, I'm gonna do horror story style. <laughs> the yeah. elf massacre. <laughs> the elf, elf killed all the, the other elves. Yeah, the elf is going. To, I'll buy a bunch of elves. It'll be a massacre, and the elf will be standing there in the kitchen with a knife pointed straight down at the ground. Your kid will come out like that's a badass way to hold that. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I want to hold a knife like, like that. That elf is badass. When I grow up, I want to be that elf. <laughs> <laughs> just, that just mass murdered the other elves? No, no. It's just a badass elf. Not, yeah. not a murdering. Not a murderous elf. Black belt and Krav, yeah. Krav Maga. Ryan! Hello! Where did we stop on our way out to the old uh, lake to go ice fishing the other day? We went and checked out the, the neon blues. We went to the holiday. We didn't pass gas. We need to make sure our generator had gas. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then we went in for some snacky poos. What'd you get? Uh, hash brown and honey bun. Well, that was what we got for for breakfast. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, what did I get? I think I just got energy drink. Yeah. I was fasting that day. So. Oh, were you? I, yeah, I just completely. You a big right fasting guy? Uh, on ice fishing trips, I am. Are you a big fasting guy, Tyler? Uh, I'm a big fasting guy. It's Are you? Just, if uh, there's no one around to make me food, I just don't eat. Okay, I like that. <laughs> well, you never have to have that problem if you would just get a job at Holiday. Correct. <laughs> then you're golden. Uh, just update. like the crispy hash browns that they have um, there for the morning's made deal. Unless he gets hired as a cook at Holiday, then he has to make his own food. I don't, yeah, I'm not God, cooking that, at all. That, yeah. <laughs> now, I only eat the shit the other employees make. Oh, okay. okay, gotcha. Uh, had the breakfast quesadilla. Really fucking good. Did you? Mm-hmm. Describe it to me. Um, it in is, ooey gooey details. Um, there's <laughs> two tortillas. In between said tortillas are eggs, cheese. Oh, slower, e- please. Sorry, eggs, cheese. Softer. Peppers. Draw it out longer. Sausage. <laughs> Stay on that sausage a little longer. The, what else? The tortillas are fried crispy. Absolutely crispy. Then cut. Two ways to make four pieces of quesadilla. <laughs> so you mean you can share that sausage with a friend, or you can enjoy four separate pieces yourself. You can do four sausages in your mouth at once. <laughs> at one time. 
time. Stack up those sausages. Stack and suck them down. <laughs> and that's what you get at uh, holiday breakfast mornings made. Uh-huh. So I don't know about you guys, but nice sausage quesadilla. My morning's made. Mm-hmm. So don't pass gas. <laughs> Find the blue neon and turn right in. Holiday gas stations. They l- they're they leaving the light on for us. <laughs> <laughs> Krav Maga, by the way, just sounds like you made it up. I I saw that it was real, but doesn't it just sound like it sounds like something he would make up? There's a lot of no, one, one fighting t- styles that sound made up. So one time I was donating plasma and uh, the guy who was sticking me with the needle was, was we were talking combat sports, of course. And he was telling me about the Krav Maga he had just got into. He's only did a you show him in. your reversal move as soon as he started to go with the, the needle into your arm? Did you fuck <laughs> and then stab him with it? No, he already it had looks it. Like in I'm it. getting paid for your plasma yeah. today. <laughs> no, I did. I did rip it out though, so I could get the free shirt. If you get blood on your shirt, they'll give you a free, oh, free plasma. Hell shirt. yeah! So yeah, he tells you. He tells you. They like tell you to like hold pressure on it. You just open it up and point it at your shirt. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "Wow, you have the veins of a guy who's in Krav Maga." And I said, "I know." <laughs> But there's a lot of them that have weird fucking names like Krav Maga, Capoeira. You Never saying that he actually said that? Yeah, I said like this is any plasma center guy's dreams is to have Krav Maga veins to stick into. <laughs> I can't believe this guy tried to fuck you at plasma. <laughs> no, he wanted he what he wanted was a reliable sparring partner in Krav Maga. <laughs> So and being vascular is the determining factor. Well, he knew I could hold my own. He knew I was strong. <laughs> he knew I was a strong Your boy. Type of blood. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. He knew everything about me. He knew my name. <laughs> he knew my birthday. He knew my last four of my social security number. Yeah, it was in the system probably. So that's <laughs> that helps. This yeah. guy's a good sparring partner. He's a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo sounds like some sort of martial mixed martial arts. Yeah. Palestinian. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's another episode of You Bet Your Radio. If you want to listen to the Patreon, go to patreon.com slash you bet your radio or you download the Patreon app. Find us on there. Um, I mean, we brought some fire episodes. Yeah, we have. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like when we started it, I was like, you know, are we gonna be able to like have another episode a week, and it's just been one after another. We're not we're ain't cutting corners of Patreon. No, so no. This is, yeah, yeah, no. Have, this is fucking. We basically went Kramaga on, on the Patreon <laughs> episode. Yeah, we have Tyler's bachelor party on there. We have a standing episode. That's about it. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot. Yeah, over more. fifty hours of content right now. So head over there and uh, yeah, may your Kramaga be dangerous but safe and your kids be great. (laughs) (laughs) I was trying to think of something nice to say. I couldn't pray for me every night. Yeah. May your kids pray for me every night. I need it. (laughs) Cheers, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah.